Hello dear students, welcome back to e-classes of Commerce Standard 12. In our last video, we studied about the meaning of depository. In this video, we are going to continue about depositories in India. So let's study about depositories in India. Which are the depositories in India? Let's study it. Let's read it. There are two depositories in India. First, NSDL, that is National Securities Depository Limited. Second, CDSL, that is Central Depository Service India Limited. So, NSDL is the public company formed under the Pub Companies Act. NSDL is the first depository that is registered by SEBI in June 7, 1996. It is promoted by NSE, that is National Stock Exchange, and with the collaboration of some other financial institution. NSDL is managed by Board of Directors and it is incorporated as it is incorporated in the form of Public Company Under Companies Act. So, the main function of NSDL is it performs its function through depository participant appointed by it. Whatever the fees is charged by the investor and customers, investors do not pay directly any expense to NSDL. Fees is charged from depository participant by NSDL. Depository participants can be bank, financial institutions, share brokers. So, not from investor or customer any kind of direct expense is charged it is charged from depository participant and depository participant charges some fees from the customers and investors so the nsdl institutional institution provides the online services for dematerialization rematerialization dematerialization means converting physical certificates into electronic data and rematerialization means converting electronic data into physical securities so nsdl institution provides online services such as dematerialization rematerialization other is electronic settlement of transactions then it is crediting right and bonus shares in the customer's account and last it's freezing customer's account freezing customer's account that means to lock the customer's account. So these are the services provided by NSDL. Let's study about CDSL in detail. That is Central Depository Service India Limited. CDSL is the second depository to be set up in India. It was promoted by Bombay Stock Exchange and Bank of India. It was first formed in Feb 1999. CDSL provides online depository services all over India. It gives or provides easy and safe services to the investor. CDSL publishes time to time the list of registered participants on its website. So we can say that CDSL and NSDL service is available to the investor at the door as depository participants are electronically connected with them as the centralized system of NSDL and CDSL keeps an eye on every transaction all over India. So it is easily available to the investors at the door. So both the depositories NSDL and CDSL have their networks with depository participants and depository participants have their connection electronically with their clients so depository participant act as a link between depositories and clients so here we have finished the topic nsdl and cdsl go through the topic revise it thoroughly thank you